Hey guys, your girl is back from a very long trip and this is what she decided to do first, meal prep. I have not cooked for three good weeks now and so I really miss cooking and that's why I've decided to do a meal prep. Yeah, I need to make some food that will take me through this coming month or let me say the next four weeks. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're new, kindly subscribe down below so that I'll notify you when I upload a new video. First things first, I'm going to remove all the veggies that I prepped at night so that I can see if I have everything. These veggies take a very long time to prepare so I had to do that the previous night before I begin my meal prepping. I transferred all my meats from the freezer to the fridge including the chicken and I have also this maize and I had to do the shelling at night because it takes a very long time. And then after that, I have these uh, ginger and garlic, which I had to remove the covers. Then I have the yellow and uh, kidney beans. I also have some uh, greens and some Irish potatoes that I had to peel also. I also created some space in the fridge, both fridge and the freezer, so that I can have enough space to store my food for the coming four weeks. I'm beginning by making some potato samosas and these will be my breakfast, not every day, but I'll be taking them like today and then the following day I take something like bread or oats or anything else and then again I take samosas, yeah, so I'll not be taking these every day. I'll fry that just a bit. I'm using some oil, some onion, and then after that, I'll put in some salt and some spices. That's curry powder and some turmeric for color. I'll add in my potatoes, and then after that, I'll mix that well and add in some water, then cook that till tender. As that cooks, I'm going to make my covers for the samosas. My potatoes are ready and so I'm going to add in some chilies and then I'll add in some coriander also and then mix that well and then I'll go ahead and mash them. Once I'm done mashing, I'll let that cool as I continue making my covers. This is how you make samosa covers. I already made a video on that before. I'll put oil and flour in between to make that easy to peel.
I'm cutting mine in this shape because I want big samosas. These will give me the best results. My potato is already cool, so I'll just go ahead and cover the samosas. Storing samosas is a bit challenging because the moment they touch onto each other, they tend to remove that cover. So you need to be very patient and careful with them. And the best way to do this is by using these paper towels so that you can separate them. This first and the second container I'm going to set in the freezer because I'm not going to consume that in this coming week. But for the last container, I'll set that in the fridge because that's what I'll be taking this week. Next, I want to show you what I bought from my trip, but before I do that, let's fry this chicken first and as it cooks, I'm going to show you the items. I'm making some chicken pilau kinda and so I'll fry this chicken first and then after that I'll remove the chicken and remain with the soup and that's the same same soup that I'll use to make my rice so just check that out I've thoroughly washed my chicken and so I'll add that in here and then add in some water, mix that and let that cook for some few minutes. As that cooks, let me show you a few items that I got from my trip and I'm very sorry I'll not plug you on these ones because I didn't get them locally. So the first one was this cooking pot and it's so nice, I got two of them. So this one is chocolate, very heavy cooking pot and I think it's made of clay. It's kind of rough from inside like uh, those traditional cooking pots. And I tell you, this one is of very high quality. The price was also not that friendly, but I'm so much in love with it. 
the next one was this one right here i don't know why they call it that name yeah and i've been wanting this i've been looking for this for the longest time and i only had money to buy one because i did not budget for this one yeah so we only i only got one maybe when i visit there again i'll come back with a set but for now this one is just enough you know i don't have a saucepan the ones that i have are already old and i need to dispose them for real the quality and color here is perfect and maybe you'll see this one day when I'll be using this to cook. Lastly, I got these very lovely food containers. These ones, I don't know how to describe them. I love the color, the quality, and they're made of glass. And then the lids are made of plastic, but a very heavy, very heavy plastic. You can use these ones in the oven, you can use them in your microwave, you can use them in the freezer and fridge at the same time because the quality is just perfect. It's the same as the ones that I got from Glappy Supplies last time, if you can remember, the ones with the brown lids, the bamboo lids. Yeah, the quality is the same, very heavy. The round ones, I got only two of them and they're not as small as you can see that through the camera they are very big and that can hold food for one person and then this second one this is the biggest it's the largest this can hold food for two people and i got three of them they are the first two that i used to store my samosas in the fridge let me show you these ones also with the white lids yeah these ones are slightly smaller than the number two but they are big enough to hold a lot of food. I got eight of these and I'm sure that will be enough for now. Another thing I love about them is that they have a partition. We have these two sides and this is the biggest side. And then this one is the smallest side. And I think these guys really did the best to partition that. That way, not in half, but one side smaller than the other. And then also you can separate the lid just that way i think this one is uh, made this way so that you can easily wash it that's just according to my thinking and you can do this with all the lids including the round one so i'll go straight away and wash these ones because my chicken is not yet ready i think i need some five more minutes before i can remove the chicken
my 10 minutes are over and the chicken is ready so i'll just remove these and then remain with the soup i told you i'll be making my rice with the same soup yeah so i don't have to fry it again because it has already been fried After removing the chicken, I'll add some water, enough for my rice, and then after that, I'll wash the rice and add it to the soup. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. Scatter monsters under your bed, deep and abiding, liking for you. The rice is cooking and I'll go ahead and shallow fry my chicken because I want it to brown a bit yeah, so that it can be a bit crunchy and also dry. I'm done with my first meal and let me call this meal for Mondays and so I'll just let this sit aside and cool completely before I begin serving. These turned out so well. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. I'll set one container in the fridge for the first Monday, and then the rest I'll put in the freezer for the remaining Mondays. Next, I have my managu that I already prepped and so I'll just go ahead and wash them and then cut them and this is what I have after doing that. Then next, I'm going to steam that for about 5 minutes. After that, we'll get to fry. Back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. 
I'm blending all the tomatoes that I'm going to use today in my greens at once. Yeah, so I'm not going to use all these. Finally, I'm going to add some milk to thicken the soup. Then after that, I'll just cover that, let it cook a bit for like two minutes and then that will be ready. I'll set it aside to cool and then I'll serve. That will be my meal for Tuesdays and I'll be taking that with some fermented milk. So I have these packets right here and I'm going to arrange them also and set them in the fridge for the next or for the coming four weeks. So I have some extra, not only this one extra, I have some also that maybe I'll be taking for lunch because I like fermented milk a lot. I'm only serving them in these three containers, but these ones are enough for the coming four Tuesdays. This is our meal number three. We are going to shallow fry some beef. And this will be our meal either I think for Thursday and then for Wednesday and Fridays I'll be taking kiberi and beans. I want to brown my beef a bit before I do the actual frying and if you're not new here you already know this method. I'll remove that and then put in another batch which is the last batch and then after that I'll begin frying. I'm using the same same pot for frying because it's not dirty and I'm going to be following the same process that I've used previously in the other meals.
My beef is ready and as that cools, I'm going to make some greens that I'll be taking with it. And that is some render and pumpkin leaves. This is how it looks after washing and chopping finely. And so I'll just go ahead and put in my hot water as usual and this time I'm going to use some baking powder. And then I'll add my greens. It's time to fry it too and I'm going to use the same same process that I did with the first one. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling My meal for these days is ready and so I'll go ahead and serve them too I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good We are moving to our last meals and that will be Gideri And Gideri is literally beans put together with maize as you can see right there And then I'll boil that and then later fry it yeah, and then after that, we'll also make some yellow beans. So I'll set this one to cook first. And this will take about one hour. As that was cooking, I was preparing my ingredients. And by now, the gideri is ready. And I'll go ahead and set my beans also to cook before I begin frying right away. By the time I'll be done frying, these beans will also be ready. That's how quick... The pressure cooker is I'm going to fry the two in one pot and then later I'm going to divide that in two pots so that I can save time It's now time to divide that because the remaining ingredients are not the same so I have to separate them. This one right here is for gideri and the other one is for beans. And for the gideri I'm going to add some carrots and capsicums chopped in cubes. I know you're all about the good vibes Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time count Then for my beans, I'm going to add some grated carrots And some chopped coriander I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good vibes
blending some coconut and this I'm going to add to my beans. I'm going to blend these and then after that I'll strain it and then add it to my beans. This coconut milk really brings a difference. You can give it a try. I'll cover them and also let them cook a bit and after that I'm going to serve and store in the fridge and also the freezer. And note that I always leave my food to cool first before I serve them. I let that cool completely before I serve them. More so when I'm using the plastic containers. I also have left a lot of food without frying. I think I overbought things this time around. So those ones will help me maybe some other time. So for now I have enough. Just in case I have a visitor, I have enough. I'm done guys and today I was so tired because I filmed everything so I had to just do all the washing off camera I did all the cleaning off camera so that I could go faster you know because if you're filming it takes a long time to show all that so I had to do all the cleaning off camera thank you so much guys for watching I love you all thank you thank you thank you so much i don't take this for granted if you've not subscribed kindly subscribe down below so that i'll get to notify you when i upload a new video my name is miss Viro. if you're new and love you all guys again bye